this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world, and this is a very special day inside of Stumpy's lovely world, and of course you know why it's special, you can see the title, this is my 600th episode inside of my lovely world. As you can see, seeing as it is a special occasion, I have put on my little party hat, which I only put on on very special occasions, and yeah, let me just tell you what the plan is, you've probably already noticed is that this is a very, very long video. Much longer than any of my other videos. This will be, at least when I upload it, the longest video I've ever done uh, on my lovely world, or I think probably just on my channel <laughs> in general anyway. I can't think of anything I've done longer. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be doing the same thing I did when I reached 300 episodes, and I am going to be touring my entire town. So my house, just, just everything. Everything apart from the fun land, I am going to be showing you, unless I accidentally forget get something there's like I think I, I forgot one building when I did my 300th episode and that drives me crazy so I'll try to show you at least briefly everything inside of my lovely world so I guess every 300 episodes I am going to give you a tour so I don't want to waste any time talking because I'm going to be at all doing a lot of time talking anyway as I walk around so let's go and get into this of course I need to still begin things by having my cake a very special 600th episode cake nom 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 very tasty. I mean, it's not like it's my 600 cakes. I've had more than 600 cakes. It's just I've had 600 for breakfast, I guess. And Barnaby, you can join me for the entire episode. And it is a special day, and we are going to be touring everything, including my house. But first, let's go straight down to the, the love garden, because I want to, to make sure that no matter what, uh, I don't forget to, to add someone to it. And the person that I'm adding to the love garden today is called Arif. And the reason I'm adding Arif is because uh, they made a really, really cool model uh, of Squishy and me. And you can see it's us inside of Minecraft. Squishy is a torch. And then there's a boat in the water between us as well. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for making it for me. And welcome to my love garden. All right then, where do we start? So I want to start off with touring my house. This is of course kind of the the underneath of my love garden. Uh, let's let's go and show the the love garden. So uh, not many people know this, but uh, I probably said this in my 300th episode. But I didn't actually originally build the uh, the the love garden. It was my friend Crimson's off. Basically, this was just a, a bit of ground here, and he built a heart made out of dirt. I then said, that's nice, but could you maybe make it out of pink wool? So he, once again, built it out of pink wool. I did not build this. This is one of the things that I didn't build in my lovely world. And then I kind of came up with the idea to have this as the, the place where I was going to add everyone the signs. Of course, it got a little bit too filled up and we had to, to build a uh, underneath. If you haven't been here for a while, you may not have even seen this. But yeah, I have been adding signs underneath into like the... It's almost like you think of Zelda, like the dark world version of my love garden. I mean, it's still happy and nice and stuff, but it's like the, the upside down version, like the secret underneath. Underneath. Anyway, I can't spend this long talking about everything because otherwise we're going to be here literally all day. The last episode, my 300th one was like 50 minutes long, by the way. So <laughs> I have no idea how long this one's going to be yet, but I guess you can see in the video. So yeah, this is my crafting and furnace room. I still use it when I'm like smelting everything. I literally never ever come here to craft things because, I mean, you know what I do. I just put down a crafting table wherever I'm standing. But <laughs> back in my naive noob days at the, the beginning, I kind of thought that you'd have one place to do your crafting and you'd actually walked to it. Of course, that didn't happen. It's a bit of a weird one because it doesn't like match the rest of my house. <laughs> like I didn't have much consideration back then. It kind of just, yeah, it's a little bit ugly. Let's be honest here. But oh well, I like it. The, the look of it from the, the inside and I've had it too long. I'm not going to, to change it. Up here, this is Fred the, the, the friendly Enderman's room. Uh, this is where he sleeps on his big double bed so he can fit on them. Still seems a little bit too small. Maybe I should add a, another bed. And oh, didn't mean to do that. I just broke away the carpet. I'm sorry. I'll put that back down there. Fred will never know. And then here, this is where uh, I can do all of my brewing. We have uh, all of the different materials inside of these chests. And Barnaby, you can stick with me today, but stay so stay away from the water. Good boy. Good boy. And then through here, we have a little secret entrance, which isn't very secret because I've shown it loads of times. Uh, this is where my enchantment table is. And then anything that I'll need for doing all of my enchantment uh, is inside of, uh, of that chest here. Kind of places that I don't really go to too often inside of my lovely world. But uh, yeah, they've been here for a long time. Uh, this is my storage room. Uh, originally, these chests used to be like as a pattern in the floor. And then they made the chest smaller so the pattern didn't work. So I <laughs> dug a big hole in the floor instead and then put them around the, the outside. I also used to have um, signs showing like what's in the chest, but then signs started really lagging my world. So I got rid of them. And what way should we go? Let's go. Yeah, let's go down this way for now. Actually, tell me, let's just show you all of this area down here. And then we'll go over to, to that side and kind of show you closer to the uh, the SS Stumpy side. So, uh, yep, yeah, down here we have um, 
uh, just like the entranceway. We have lava in a bubble. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world when I built it. <laughs> back in those those old days. It's fun going back to these old places from like almost a different version of Stampy built all of these things. This was my first attempt at doing an automatic farm. Basically, if you cover up all of the glowstone, then the, the wheat pops up. Not the, uh, the most uh, <laughs> efficient way of doing it. My farm factory is much better. And this, if you can believe it or not, this is my water room. This is the room that I'd go to to get water. Water. Like, as if anyone would actually go to a specific room to, to get water. I don't know what I was thinking back then, but this is my water room. And it does fit quite nicely because next door we have the lava room, which actually does serve a good purpose. If ever I do need lava, I can just come down here rather than dig in a cave. Of course, I did have to bring all of the lava up here in the first place. And there's dirt up there. That's annoying me. I'm probably never going to fix that, but that is annoying me. If I remember, I am going to, to fix that. But yeah, this is my room full of lava. Sadly, though, there are accidents that happen. My dog, Snowy, uh, did sadly uh, get burnt in the, the lava. I don't know what I was thinking having a dog following me around in that lava room. As you can see, I have learned from my mistakes and I decided to, to sit down Barnaby uh, and I don't have dogs roaming around with me anymore. Uh, right then, uh, I'm not gonna... Should I go? Yeah, I think I'll go down here. I think as soon as I'm supposed to be doing a tour of everything, let me go and show you down here. Uh, once again, I kind of want to sit Barnaby down. Actually, if I'm really quick, we should be okay. And oh, oh no, there's normally a sign saying whether I need to stay left or right, but it looks like I got rid of it. <laughs> Luckily, I could see anyway. But yeah, this is my, uh, my slime farm. This is where... Well, it used to be my slime farm. I guess it technically still is. Slimes probably could spawn here, uh, but now like slimes spawn everywhere all over the surface. I don't need it anymore, but this took a very, very long time to, to dig all of it out, uh, just so... um. Uh, yeah, we could get some slime spawning down here when they used to, to be really rare. And once again, you're going to see the trend. Yeah, having a giant pit is not a, a good thing to, to have when you have a, a dog following around behind you. And I'm getting very, very worried now that Barnaby is going to, to do something dangerous. It should be okay, though, because if he climbs the ladder, he'll be fine because he'll be on the ladder. Then if he does drift off to the side, there is water down there. I, mean, I think he's climbing the ladder. I think he's literally climbing the ladder after me. Barnaby is like the most clever dog inside of all of Minecraft, and that is 100% the, the truth. And speaking of dogs, seeing as we're right here, let's go and uh, have a look at the, the dog house. I'll go through the, the main entrance. So the idea of this place is that it's supposed to look like from here, just like a normal kind of little dog house, but secretly you go behind here and you go inside, and then all of my dogs, are, at least most of my dogs, are inside of here. They have a vending machine, if you haven't seen this before, so they can get uh, bones and pork chops and stuff, but um, yeah, sadly... The, the dogs can't actually press the buttons. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess they can't really use it very much. But let me just go and throw some bones for them. I'm actually just going to grab some pork chops just because we have a, a lot of stuff to see today. And if Barnaby does have an accident, I want to be there ready to, to heal him up uh, immediately. Is he hurt already a bit? I think his tail's a little bit down. Let's just go and give him a pork chop. There we go. Now he's nice and happy. So, yeah, this is the, the dog house. Pretty simple. These little levers that you might have seen around the place, they actually set off a fire alarm over in my fire station, which I'll show you a little bit later on if you want to, to see that. Right, while we're here, let's loop around this is my farm my old farm i guess we do have a, a new farm i'm going to show you soon you may not have seen that yet uh, this is my chicken coop uh, basically the chickens lay loads of eggs and then they fall down it's constantly filled up because it's stupidly efficient so if you ever need eggs there's going to be plenty for you inside of my lovely world uh, my tree farm which i still use to, to get all of my oak wood from uh, i do it from uh, from here basically this is an efficient way to, to gather up all of the, the saplings and apples and things and yeah let's let's stick with my house for now i know we've kind of done a, a full loop of the the house of all of this area uh, let's now go over to the the other side of my house so my bedroom i don't need to show you we started there you've seen that place plenty of times let's go and show you next door uh, this is where henry and hilda live this is their bedroom this is henry's side covered in snow and hilda's side uh, covered in iron hi guys it's nice to see you uh, and then we have um upstairs this is the the guest bedroom we don't really have too many people staying in the the guest bedroom to be honest i don't have many guests inside of my lovely world especially now like all of my helpers have like their own places to to live and tell you what seems we're going up here let's go to the top so there is a roof access from two doors there if ever you need to go onto the the roof it's always just nice to have things like that because otherwise people just break holes in the walls and stuff but yep uh, this is a fizzy's room here which he has decorated himself to make it very very colorful compared to what it used to be uh, this actually was originally going to be my music tower and I was going to put a um a jukebox in here to make it my music tower but now it's basically just a, a tower but it's a, a great place uh, to get a view over the the rest of the the town and because it's like on the top of my house you can see all of the town on that side and at the moment there's not a huge amount but eventually you're going to be able to see loads of the town on this side and it's actually starting to to grow over that side as well the the town so the view from this tower is only going to to get better and better and better all uh, right then so that's the tower let's go to like the the other section of the the house the kind of 
of the the section that you probably don't see very often uh, in videos apart from things like Christmas Day and stuff because there's a lot of like like normal rooms like normal real life rooms you know the type of rooms that you would have in a real house rather than like a minecraft house so for example we have a living room and a television so we can sit here and watch television which is something that we yeah, we never do the kitchen is used a little bit more i will be honest i do sometimes store ingredients and stuff in here but yeah as i said i would normally just throw down a crafting table next to me but it's nice just to have these realistic looking places uh this place is somewhere which i never really use anymore never really use that much anyway so it's supposed to be my inspiration room where I come inside of here and I look at all of the different blocks that I can place inside of Minecraft just to get inspired uh, over which block I should use. Since then they've added way 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 more blocks and I probably could fill it a lot more in by making it so there's only one of each block but yeah I realize I don't really use that anymore so <laughs> that was the, the idea of it to sit at my deck desk and get uh, get inspired by all of the different blocks that are surrounding me. Uh, this is just a balcony where we can see the, the boat and the, the submarine. More on that a little bit later on. And then the only the other place is my bathroom which is through here which has working hot and cold taps uh, it has a, a toilet down here of course uh, as well and uh that's oh, quite good actually now the water's like not kind of completely filled up it's more like a real toilet very good very good game <laughs> so yeah that's the the toilet literally never ever go in there and let's go up for starters yeah let's go to the the clubhouse so this is the the clubhouse uh, i'm up here relatively often there's a few things that we do in here uh, of course it's still covered in snow from when santa was here at Christmas. Maybe I should just, uh, I'll clear it up later. I'll clear it up later. That's fine. But yeah, this is where my clubhouse is, and this has access to the top of my house up there. One day, one day, mark my words, we are going to extend my house so it goes out further this way and build another room here and build that chimney going up. I have plans. I do have plans to finally uh, continue working on my house. I never say my house is done. Everyone's always like, oh, actually, sorry, sorry, I just got to go and have a, a little a little memory down here for Guilty Bark, who sadly uh, passed away on top of uh, up here. I'll try and show all of the, the graves as we go around. But yeah, uh, whenever people say, like, how long did it take you to build my house? I always say, well, it took me ages. But I'm not finished yet. I haven't finished building my house. I'm always still working on it. So this is my uh, my indoor swimming pool down there. Uh, this is my jacuzzi, which I think it lights up. Yeah, there we go. That's my heated jacuzzi down there. And then this water kind of flows outside as well. I always love having water flowing everywhere inside of my house. That was a good thing that I liked. And this here is my library. Uh, once again, still a little bit of snow left over from Christmas. And this lever opens up this like that. And I built that as one of like the first things I ever did did when I was doing redstone and I was so proud of that and it leads down to here and this is my secret storage area where I have some some gems and diamonds and stuff hidden underneath there uh yeah it's not very hidden whatsoever because I keep showing everyone it but <laughs> it was originally pretty hidden and actually while we're pretty close let me go and show you down to something that you've probably seen quite a lot if you've been watching my videos recently when we go to the the teleporter but this is my secret base which is underneath my house I've always wanted a secret base under my house so I got one here Oh dear, I think it's one, three, and four? Yay! There we go. Once again, not a very secret code considering I've shown you how to, to open it. But yep, that's the way to open up the, the door. This is the teleporter you've probably seen me ride in. This is my cloning machine, if you haven't seen that. We don't really use that anymore. We've had some some dangerous <laughs> moments with that. This used to be a water elevator where you could ride a boat up to the surface of the lake. That doesn't work anymore. Once they changed boats, they basically broke all of the cool things that you could do with boats while also making boats better. So I guess it's good in one way, but bad in the other. But sadly, this doesn't work. So we just mainly use it as a quick way to, to kind of swim down here. I might make a better way to get down here, like a cooler secret tunnel way or something but yeah that will come in the, the future uh this here is my cakey bakey tasty cake making cookie machine which is very difficult to, to say <laughs> and uh, yeah this is uh something from uh this was cat to the future this episode was used in if you want to, to see that also my time machine was used in this episode this is the way i can skip through time if i want to but once again that's something that isn't used uh particularly loads uh right then let's go let's go this way Barnaby, you stay out of the water. Are you going to be okay? Right, I'm just going to go really, really quick and hopefully he's going to teleport after me. But yeah, the reason I want to go this way is I want to make sure that I don't forget one of the, the other graves, which is around here. And uh, this grave uh, belongs to, I think this is Stampy Goodnose's grave. Uh, yeah, here we go. Stampy Goodnose, the, the dog. Sadly, uh, it fell from the, the tower all the way at the top there. I think it actually might have been hit the target when hit the target was like Friendly, who accidentally knocked him off or something. And then down here as well, we have the, the grave uh, of Chicken, uh, who 
sadly uh, was only with us for, for one day. I got him on Christmas and then uh, he died pretty much straight away after in water, which is why you can see I'm being so careful. This here is the, the first ever proper redstone I ever did, where I made it so these doors can open and they can close again. It doesn't, doesn't really work exactly the way it should do and then this other lever messes it up sometimes and that. So it's not perfect, but I was very happy with it at the, the time. And Barnaby, I'm kind of glad you're a bit stuck down there. Let me make you sit down for a second and show you down here. This is my never portal down here and I made a, a fittingly dramatic and never portal room. I won't really show you the never because I don't really do anything in the never. I keep having ideas to build in the never and ideas for things to do. The problem is, is because I'm on the, the 360 still, I've got a really small never. So I keep what I keep doing. It's kind of cheating, but it works really well. Is I keep resetting the never, which means I can like get more items from it. It means I can get glowstone really easily, like right near the, the portal and stuff. And so I don't want to build something from there because that means I won't want to, to reset it again. And oh, I didn't leave. Did I leave Barnaby's? No, no, Barnaby is standing up. Okay, I just suddenly panicked that I left him sitting down. And oh yeah, actually I'm glad I came back here because we have rooms! This is my dirt room where we have chests full of, well you can imagine. And then I have my cobblestone room in here. And uh, this one is completely filled with pork chops. Only joking, it's filled with cobblestone. This is just where I dump a bunch of it. I used to like always bring my dirt and cobblestone back here. And I just don't bother doing that anymore because I have so much. I'm never going to need to build out of that much stuff. So I just don't even bother storing it anymore. Anyway, it is about to become nighttime. It will be nice to, to wander around some of my house at night time, but it will also be a little bit more deadly. So I think that seeing as we're right next to my bedroom again, uh, I'll go in here quick. And oh, actually, I'm glad I came back here because there is a little secret door here. And then there's the, the room of no requirement, which is on the, the top up there. Uh, and this is basically what it was, was a bit of just like leftover space that I just had up there. And it's uh, been used for different things over the, the years, but it's basically just the room, which is just there. And there was no real reason for it when it was made. And so I just call it the, the room of no requirement. Uh, through here, we have the, the SS Stumpy, which is my uh, enormous boat. You may remember from the episode Sinking Feeling, if you saw that. It's my most viewed uh, Lovely World video ever. I don't know, I think it's got like 60 million views or something stupid like that. <laughs> which really makes me cringe if I watch it back again now, because, I don't know, it's really horrible to go back to, to watch old videos. But yeah, basically I sailed this boat around and had a battle with Hit the Target. I won't say how it ends, just in case you haven't seen it yet. But uh, yeah, this is the, the boat. There is a inside the the boat uh, as well this is the captain's quarters num 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 don't mind if i do don't know how long that cake's been sitting there but <laughs> it tasted okay i guess and then yeah this is where all of the the crew would potentially go and uh, sleep very simple boat this was kind of back in the days when i built things a little bit more simple than i did right now it's also a place we have a great view like of the the map overhead and i haven't actually like updated this map if you don't know the way maps work is that uh, like as you move around you kind of fill them in and they update so this isn't the most update version of my map but it's still quite cool uh, to be able to, to see kind of what it looks like from above. You can see the bottom right hand corner hit the target uh, castle and then that big colorful blob in the top right hand corner. That's my fun land. You can see just how much bigger my fun land is compared to the, the rest of my town. And you can kind of just just about work out what some of the, the games are going to be. So I might I might keep this map on me and carry it around. Uh, this is a giraffe which Longbow built. You may remember he used to build loads of giraffes. And I remember I actually made him walk the plank and then there was down there originally an SOS sign that he built. But then the town got bigger and basically swallowed it up. <laughs> this here is my submarine. I sell this around on my episode called Ocean Adventure. Once again, uh, one of my most uh, viewed episodes. People like it with vehicles, apparently, by the looks of things. So yeah, I did go and sell this around. And there was a, a whole big ocean adventure uh, that we had sailing this thing uh, around, which was a very, very difficult episode to, to make, I don't mind telling you. And now let's go... Let's go and skip out going back through the house again because I think I haven't missed anything in the house. Once again, I'm going to apologize if I miss anything. I think it's the um, the dentist I missed out by accident last time. So I'm going to try and be doubly sure that I show it next time. So, yep, uh, this was a... Um uh, a Christmas present from Ank. He built me a Formula One car and it completely doesn't fit in with everything else in my world, but I've just left it here because <laughs> because it's it's lovely world history at this point. Something that's much newer though is my UFO. Well, it's not my UFO. It's my Luna Friends UFO. They came back from the, the moon and they decided to, to join me in my lovely world. Uh, that was on Christmas Day. And uh, if you remember, I actually raced Santa with him in his sleigh and then me riding back with my Luna Friends inside of, the, inside of their UFO. And yeah, they've parked it here and it's been ever here ever since. I was always wondering whether they're going to, to move it off, but nope, they've decided to keep it here. Sadly, you don't get very good views from here because you kind of have to just look through this little slit of a window. So not the, the best place to, to look around, but I'm sure they use fancy 
I don't know, alien versions of radar and stuff to get around. They don't need to be able to see through the windows. And Barnaby, teleport down now, please. There we go. Safely down a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Go up. There we go. Good boy, Barnaby. He's been very well behaved so far. Uh, anyway, let's keep things moving. So this is Harriet's house under the top of this hill here. She likes to wander, so there's a good chance she won't be inside of it. Yep, she has gone for a bit of a, of a wander. But just like Harrison, there is a little secret entrance down here, uh, which leads down into her hat shop, where she sells all of her different types of hats. There were really cool names. Well, I say really cool. There were punny names for all of these different types of hats, but sadly, once again, any not necessary signs I've had to break away to stop the, the world from uh, from lagging. Hopefully we're going to run into to Harriet uh, at some point in the, the future. But for now, let's go down here. This is, is, of course, William Beaver's Cave. This, if you don't know, a uh, bit of a history lesson for you here. I'm trying to say as many, like, facts and stuff as I can, but I'm sure you probably know loads of this stuff already. But basically, this was the first place I ever spent a night in Minecraft. So my first ever video of my lovely world, which was my first ever time playing Minecraft, it got to nighttime and I was panicking and I just dug inside of here. And this tunnel has been left basically the same in terms of the way the tunnel is since then. So I actually spent my first night of Minecraft sleeping in here and then I just left it as a cave for a while and then William Beaver at some point came in and kind of furnished it and he sleeps down there and has all of his belongings and stuff inside of here so I don't want to, to go through them but yeah this is where William Beaver's decided to, to live we have suggested about you know would he like his own house but no he is happy living inside of the, the cave uh, down here this is my lovely waterfall uh, I was really happy building this that was like one of the first times where I built something you know, that wasn't just a shop or something, I was just decorating, so I actually really enjoyed when I built this, and there was a, a bit of a dramatic episode, I had a bit of a nightmare during that episode, so if you search, I think it is called Lovely Waterfall, uh, yeah, there is a, an exciting element in that episode if you want to check that one out, uh, I'm giving you a list of homework for videos for you to watch after this, uh, let's go, let's go to the, um, the, um, the skyscraper after this. So I think this is called like, is it called Lovely Incorporated? Yeah, uh, Lovely Inc. That's the the name of this uh, uh, this company, which I run, of course. I should know the name of my, my own company. And it's enormous. It's kind of unlike anything else that I really built in my lovely world. And every different floor, uh, each of my dogs has their own job that they do. I won't go through all of them today because there are a lot of them. But uh, what we'll do is we'll just go all the way up to the, the top. Uh, I think uh, there's a pretty cool way to do the elevator where you just skip through minecarts, which allows you to get all the way to the top really fast. Like, look how high up I am. If I was climbing a ladder, I'd be like half the way up by now. It's crazy. And this place does give you a pretty good view. Sadly, with the, the 360 draw distance, you can't see very far over there. Uh, but as the town gets more built up around this area, you're going to be able to see more and more and more things. And it is still a, a, a pretty good view. Look at the farm factory from the top up there. I will be uh, showing you that uh, very, very shortly. And oh, more things are, are starting to, to load in as well. So this is where I sit. This is my desk. This is Stampy Boss. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go down here. Going down is even faster than going up, as you can fall all of the way down, and then there's just a little bit of water there, which basically stops you from, uh, from hurting yourself. So there we go. And that is the, the lovely incorporated skyscraper, something that you see every single morning as I go and step out on uh, top of my balcony. All right then, let's go next to the theatre I think we're going to, to head to next. So uh, yeah, this is once again a very old thing that I built in my lovely world. I would have built it out of stone bricks, but when I had built it, they didn't actually even have stone bricks inside of the, the game. So I guess as well as I got these lights flashing, I was so proud. I came up with that idea myself and I think it still looks pretty good today. That was uh, another old time of Stampy doing redstone. It's basically just a, a minecart kind of spinning around up here but I was so proud when I built that thing so unbelievably proud and then I was actually pretty proud of the the entire theater because it was the first like big build I ever did uh, there's just a couple toilets down there but then if we go up to the the top here uh, this is the the best view of the the theater uh, the last thing we did was from one of my Halloween specials and I actually only just uh, tidied that set up now uh, let's just go and very quickly show you behind the the scenes where uh, we basically just have a bit of a backstage area you can access the the music pit down there to, to play a bunch of music for your different plays and then this is where people would have their props and they can kind of go and get ready for their, their grand performances and then there's just some like staircases to get upstairs to go and be able to, to watch things inside of all of the, the different booths. Where's um... Where's Barnaby? I'm starting to get a bit worried now because <laughs> I've been wandering around for a bit and I keep turning around and I keep waiting for Barnaby to, to follow behind me. What I think might have happened is he might have tried following me up here and then ended up sitting in one of the minecarts, which does seem to be like a very Barnaby type thing to do. And yeah, I think he has. I think he's sitting in the minecarts. I can't get going up anymore. Right, let me, let me go and get Barnaby out of there and then we can go and carry on the rest of the tour. Okay, I'm not actually entirely sure how to do this. Um, if I just do 
Because oh, he's not going to teleport. Right, I'm just going to have to punch it. I don't want to punch him, though. Like, I should use my sword to break it away. But, oh, I'm sorry, 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 pardon me. Okay, okay, just just come down now. Come down now and don't go in another minecart, please. Please don't go in another minecart. Are you following me? Pardon me? Are you with me? Is he there? There we go. And let me just go and pick up this minecart because I can go and plonk it down a little bit later on. But not going to do that now because otherwise Barnaby's going to get stuck again. <laughs> right then, let's go and continue the, the tour. So, yeah, I think I'm going to show you all kind of like this this back area of my lovely world. Well, it's not back area. This is like going to be the new part of the town. So in case you haven't heard me talk about this before, basically, I want my lovely world, uh, like my house, to be kind of the center of the town and then everything else built around it just so it doesn't take too long to, to get anywhere. So uh, there's going to be way more building going on over here because I basically run out of room building that way. I'm like right up next to the fun land. So there's one or two spaces that I can still build, but mainly uh, we're going to be building around this area in the future. And you can see all of like the, the paths all mapped up so you know kind of exactly where I'm going to be building. But yeah, Anyway, this is a Harrison's house here. Uh, let's go uh, inside of here. I saw him pretty recently uh, on Christmas Day. So hello, Harrison. Hopefully you're enjoying reading all of your books about eyebrows. He's got a thing about reading books about eyebrows. Everyone needs to have a thing. That's his thing, I guess. <laughs> so let's go and uh, shut that down there. He really likes uh, spending time by himself. And uh, one of the... Um I was going to say one of the newer editions, but it's not really a new edition anymore. It's been like a couple years, but Polly's house. Uh, Polly, of course, uh, one of uh, Santa's reindeers, came here from the, the North Pole. And this is basically an exact replica, well, almost an exact replica of her house that she had in the North Pole, just to make her feel at home here. So uh, she's got her balcony. This is where uh, she's staring at me every morning while I'm over at my balcony, normally throwing snowballs all over the place like a mad woman. Uh, we have a big table here, which we never sit at. Uh, in here, this is her bedroom. I'll give you a, a quick glimpse of that. I don't really want to be going through all of her stuff and then we have a, a library in here she loves to, to read and then down here is is her secret lab as i said everyone needs a secret lab and apparently a skeleton uh, underneath their house and polly is the, the same and a spider as well so there's a whole bunch of contraptions here not entirely sure how all of it works but yeah this is where polly tinkers away and plays around with her uh, with redstone just to, to make sure she understands everything all uh, right then over here this is probably my least favorite build in my entire lovely world this is my my mob trap barnaby you can sit down there for now no dogs allowed around this place. Basically, what it is, is um, uh, googly spawn underneath the ground. There's like a big mob trap. They all get funneled up here. Uh, they get burnt by lava. And then all of their goodies drop down here and get collected up. Uh, you can also switch it to be an experience farm. It's not particularly efficient. It used to be more efficient. Now it's not. It still works, but only very, very gradually. But to be fair, with the, the amount of time I need to use this stuff, it doesn't really matter. And I still got like a, a good supply of bones and stuff in case I want to build out of bone blocks or something in the, the future. So. So, yeah, it's pretty disgusting. I hate the look of it. It was meant to kind of look a bit scary because it was where all of the googlies are going to come from, but it just doesn't fit in. I kind of want to get rid of it, but then again, I'm not going to because it's been here for so long I couldn't get rid of it. Anyway, uh, down here is the world's worst mushroom farm. There they are, just spreading away down there. We have a much better one, which I'm going to be showing you uh, in one second at my farm factory. Uh, but for now, let's go and show you like my airport and stuff. Uh, this is my animal farm. I do want to upgrade this animal farm in some way to make it better. Not entirely sure how yet, but yeah, we just have all of the, the pigs, sheep, and cows uh, in here. Oh no, I called them like piggy wigs, woolies, and moo moos is what I called them when I did it. But once again, any unneeded signs have been broken away. <laughs> and then inside of here, uh, we have our airport. And basically, you'll go through here. Uh, you'll send your, your luggage off like this. That would go and get sent away. Uh, you'll get your boarding pass. I think you like shake their hand to get your boarding pass. Oh, are there no boarding passes? Oh. Brilliant. <laughs> Do you have any boarding passes? No, just a bunch of wood, apparently. Okay, you're supposed to be getting boarding passes from inside of them instead of just blocks of wood. And then you'll go through here. You could, like, scan your luggage through. Like, this all kind of works like an actual proper x-ray machine and carries it through. So it's like this thing here. And then eventually it will go and pop out on the, the other side. I was pretty proud of all of this stuff, I will be honest. I was kind of happy. Like, the idea is everyone's, like, robots here. And that's, like, the people kind of working. And it's all kind of automated. Uh, so eventually, ta-da, the, uh, the block goes and pokes out on the other side through here we have a gift shop selling all of the important things basically cakes and cookies <laughs> and then outside of here we have no helicopter I crashed my helicopter, if you remember. So I did have a helicopter. I've crashed it. I might make a new one, but uh, yeah, I kind of missed my old helicopter. So sadly, no helicopter. But over here, we do have a plane. So for a long time, uh, it was still down at the, the end of the runway from when I uh, last landed it. But I have now kind of gone and uh, reversed it backwards. So now it's where it should be. Basically, we have the, the cockpit down there. And then over here, we have the, the bathroom, which works, by the way. If I go and uh, 
did uh, a bunch of wooden planks down in there and if I press this button a few times that would eject it underneath so yeah if ever you look up to the skies and you see my plane flying by over above you maybe get an umbrella out that's all I'm saying so there we go we can see all of the the wooden blocks that have dropped out down there and then that's just the the storage where all of the the luggage goes to actually our luggage should be there if this is all working the way it should be and it is there we go. Believe me or not, but this was the, the, the chest that I set off from uh, earlier. It basically goes under the, the ground to there. As I said, sadly, this has gone, but we do have some more dramatic ways of transportation other than just a, a helicopter. For example, I do have a rocket ship. It's kind of become famously known for looking a little bit like a carrot. I don't think it does. I don't think it's the shape of a carrot. I would say that because I built it. I think it's just because it's orange. I think people say it looks like a carrot. I mean, I can, I, can, I can see where they're coming from, I guess. <laughs> and then inside of here, we have a whole uh, bunch of different things. We have a, a crew quarters area. This is down to where the engine is. Or what's this called? The nutrient energy power fuel converter thingy machine. Basically, uh, this takes cakes and then you can use the uh, the, the cakes to, to power the, the rocket ship. You can also use Lunar Cheese as well. Uh, this is where you steer it from. You may recognize this view from when I launched it a, a very long time ago uh, in an episode called, I think it was just called Cat to the Moon or something along those lines. And then this is the little extra space where the, the Lunar friends first stowed away uh, a very long time ago when they first came and visited my lovely world. So yeah, and that is a, a, a little bit of a very old Stampy's Lovely World history there. And then we also, right next door to it, have my hot air balloon, which I've used to fly around my lovely world. Once again, uh, it was involved in a, a very dramatic episode, and uh, I have since uh, flown it around in uh, previous kind of special episodes uh, as well, but that's my hot air balloon there. Uh, this is a, a very, very new building, one of the, the newest buildings we've uh, shown you so far. Uh, this is my BOAT boat showroom, and this is basically, the idea is it's supposed to be kind of like a car showroom, but for the boats. Uh, there's the uh, the special model down there and you can basically uh, sell them straight into the, the ocean to take them for a, a, a test drive. I want to make sure that Barnaby don't go in the boat. Don't go in the boat. Don't get up. Really? Really? I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was. The second I looked at him, I knew he was going to go straight for that boat, just like the minecart earlier. There we go. I was able to, to get him out of it without punching him this time. And let's let's keep hold of this boat just in case I do need to, uh, to go and kind of sail around anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's go and show you my farm factory next. I want to be a little bit careful because there are some cactus around, but this is a enormous building and this is basically an automated version of all of the, the other farming stuff that you've seen. I won't go through all of it. Oh, there we go. We got to see it working. And then it gets collected up. So basically, everything is automatically gathered, just the way you saw. Things get broken away. Then a minecart whizzes around and collects it. And then this minecart will eventually come back around here and it will drop that sugarcane inside up here. So at the moment, you can see that there's one, two, three, four, and then a stack of 51 sugarcane. In just one second, we're going to see this minecart make its way around. There it goes. It's gonna go, oh, what was that? What was that? Did it just like disappear? Did it go in? Uh, 52. There we go. And it's delivered the sugar cane. That was a little bit glitchy, but I don't know why it did that. Uh, but basically, there's all of the, the the different crops and different things that you could grow. And they all kind of work in different ways. And you can always see the, the minecart whizzing around underneath your feet as you go and make your way around the place. I was pretty proud uh, when I built this place. I think it looks pretty cool and uh, definitely stands out compared to everything else in my lovely world. Mainly just because of how big it is. <laughs> uh, right then, over here, we have we have Harry. Of course, who is my horse? My horse, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've had him for a while. There's a special mini game dedicated to him. He was recently uh, with me when we had the, the, the fair in the, the last episode, if you saw that. Up here, we, of course, have Mittens, who lives inside of her kitty cat condo. Uh, let's go and uh, poke our nose in quickly and say hello to there. Hello, Mittens. Mittens has been a, a long time uh, resident inside of my lovely world. And right then, let's go and start start having a look at the, the rest of the town. Let me just make sure, is Barnaby, is Barnaby in a boat or is he following me again? There we go. Barnaby is still following me that is good so where shall we start we are we're, we've hardly got started by the way we are in this for the the long haul let's show well this is my wishing well down here i've made some wishes in here in the past that is googly island also sometimes called googly hill i kind of switch between the two this is my pretty cool fountain where in the day it looks like a normal fountain but when it gets to, to night time all of these lights will start flashing and then the the water will do like a really cool design and seeing as it's about to, to get to, to night time ah how about that for beautiful timing. Did you see that? Or was it? I don't know what it's doing, actually. I thought it was about to, to start, but then it just, like, did one thing. Maybe it's broken. It might be broken. Sometimes things are broken. They keep updating the game and changing redstone, so either it's broken, <laughs> or uh, we're not here at the, the right time. But basically, it makes it a cool pattern. You may have seen that before. Uh, but anyway, let's go and... Um 
Before we go around the, the rest of the town, I knew this minecart would come in handy. Let's go over to my emergency igloo. So when you first spawn into my... Oh, no, let's have the, the, the red. Yeah, so when you first spawn into my lovely world, uh, you spawn right next to... Uh, well, it wasn't there originally, but I built an igloo. And basically, it's got a bunch of emergency supplies. I also have a, a snow golem that lives over there. I very rarely go and visit it. So let's go and say hello to, to Norman, who's the snow golem that lives there. And also, we can ride my tree train. This is the, the, the old way that I used to, to get around my lovely world before I realized that running is pretty much faster and also I built a teleporter to get to my fun land but before that this is the the way uh, that I was uh, kind of getting around my lovely world so one uh, leads over to, to here and then the other one leads straight over to the like the start of my fun land as well let's break away these minecarts just before Barnaby goes and uh, <laughs> get stuck in one and we can go and empty these uh, away in my uh, pocket here uh, so yeah, uh, basically there's a bunch of melon trees underneath the, the melon trees. That is where the, the track is. So if ever you're in my lovely world and you see a melon tree, there's going to be a tree train track uh, hidden underneath it. And this is the, the igloo. This is the, the emergency igloo down here. We can see this is Norman uh, who lives uh, inside of it and then there's uh, a bunch of beds and stuff and uh, let's have a, a quick look over at what some of the, the town looks like at night because it does look very nice when it's uh, lit up but I think just for, for safety's sake once again seeing as we are right next to a bed as it's becoming night time let's just make the most of the, the opportunity and go to bed and I won't ride the, the, the train train back uh, seeing as we are supposed to be doing a tour of the, the town riding underneath the town in a, a track it doesn't seem like the, the smartest thing but yep this is generally where you spawn in and there's a sign that says welcome to Stampy's lovely world sometimes you do spawn in the water which isn't the, the the most pleasant thing at some point this entire area will be decorated and built on and stuff I want to keep a lot of this water I don't want to, to just level all of this out with grass and keep building here I do want to keep a lot of the, the water because I do like that but I will be building things on the water I want to build like a jetty or a pier or something all of those kind of things uh, would be really cool and so there will be things like that coming up in the, the future but for now, uh, let me go and show you my lighthouse. This is a very, very old build. It's actually built out of snow rather than white wall or anything. Basically, because when I was building it, we didn't have shears. So all of this red wall that you can see, I had to kill loads and loads of sheep in order to, to get it because I wasn't able to, to shear them. And snow was way easier to, to get because back then, uh, basically my entire world was covered in snow. It's not quite so much now as it used to be, but yeah, still quite a lot of snow in my, uh, in my lovely world. So so basically, this is a great place to, to get a view over everything. Uh, there's the, the farm factory, there's the, the house, the UFO, and then this is all of the, the, the rest of the, the things that I need to, to go and show you next. So it's a, still a pretty good place to, to get a view. Back when I built it, it was the, the tallest thing that I have built. I have now built higher than it several times uh, uh, since then. So it's not quite as dramatically tall as it used to be, but it still is a, a pretty famous landmark uh, in terms of my lovely world anyway. <laughs> Alright then, so let's go down to the, the bottom of the, the lighthouse and let's just just, um, let's just get started with the, the town. So there's going to be no particular order for the, the things that I show you today. I'm just going to kind of wander around aimlessly and try not to, to miss out anything. Like I could try and do it in chronological order, the times when I built them or something, but that would be way too difficult because I've been just kind of building all over the place randomly. It would take absolutely forever trying to, to do it in that way. So uh, here's my river. Uh, this wasn't here before. This was all built in just because once again, I wanted to, to add some more water in for some decoration. Down here, we have my soggy sandwich. This is a restaurant down on the, the water where you can eat sandwiches. The sandwiches aren't actually soggy. It was just a, a funny name for a, uh, <laughs> a sandwich shop on the, the water. This is the, the first thing I ever built in my town. Obviously, apart from like my house and stuff, the first shop, I guess. Uh, this is called Stampy's Hot Buns. Once again, a bit of a, a landmark, and it sells cakes. And uh, the cool thing about it is everything you need to make the, the cakes is in the, the garden. You don't really need <laughs> a pig or two cows, but yeah, everything else that you need uh, is just kind of growing inside of here. So yeah, you can make endless cakes without ever having to, to leave the, the place. And oh, okay, I was worried Barnaby was going to end up sitting in the minecart again. Uh, over here, uh, another very old building. We have a Melon Moments. In fact, all of these buildings are on this street, I guess, are very old. Basically, this is a uh, Melon Moments fruit stand, a bunch of different fruit down there. Originally, there were item frames of fruit in but once again just like signs I keep trying to cut down on item frames uh, just because once again they they make the the game lag a little bit too much this is my crazy cow milk bar uh, you can go inside of here and <laughs> there's the crazy cow eyes and above here we have the the cow so if you want to serve someone some milk basically you just have to reach up and grab the milk from over the counter and then you can throw them the the bucket <laughs> uh, yeah quite a, a unique way to, to be able to to do there 
This is the, the the flat postal service. I won't show you the entire way up, but basically I have a chicken called Flap up there, and all of the the mail makes its way uh, around. Uh, down here we have the um, the the toy town toy shop, and basically underneath the oh we'll go down there. Basically, if you pull this this arm of this like old broken doll in the the corner, because the the toy shop supposed basically looks rubbish if you just look at it. It's got really rubbish toys like coal and seeds. But if you go underneath here, uh, you can see that there's a whole tiny town full of actually decent toys that are down here. And I actually built this when I was using the the plastic texture pack, uh, which I used for a little while in my lovely world until everyone complained and then I switched back. And then when I switched back, everyone complained again. But hey, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so when I built all of this, it wasn't a different style, but it still looks pretty good uh, in the, the, the normal texture pack. And then there's just uh, a way uh, for you to be able to escape using this minecart where you whiz your way up here and then this little thing opens up and... Oh. Oh, okay. You get the idea. Once again, like most redstone in my lovely world, at some point it used to work and now it no longer works. Can I swim up here to get out? Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to get out, am I? Okay, let's go the other way and let's just break my way out. So, yeah, they update the game a lot. A lot of things end up breaking in my lovely world. That is going to be a much bigger theme for the, the, the next episode I do where I'm touring my fun land where you'll see just how many of my mini games just outright don't work anymore. And in one way, the updates are good because they add cool new things for us to be able to use. And on the downside, they break a lot of the, the old things and a lot of the stuff you could fix. It will just take me absolutely forever to go around and just test to see if everything's working and to, to fix it all. But you can you can understand how that would normally work. Anyway, another very old building here. We have my lovely jobly flowers. This is basically a florist with all of these different types of flowers. I've since updated it with some of the, the newer different types of flowers that I didn't have when I first built it. Uh, down here, we have the um, the overwear uh, shop. Uh, this is basically my clothing shop. Uh, I have all of my different outfits on these uh, item frames. And very recently, uh, they changed it so you can do the item frames. Uh, not item frames, sorry, armor stands in these really cool positions. So uh, I've made them all posing now. Uh, and then there's a, a little changing room area area in the the back down there uh, i think i'm gonna kind of loop around on myself oh no i haven't shown you this yet this is the the pick a pet pet shop basically we have all of the the different animals that i have in my lovely world or at least most of them uh down here we have a mushroom who seems to be working at the the shop sometimes as well googlies will spawn up above here and then they'll slide down and fall down uh, but they can't see you through the glass so sometimes you come in here and there's just creepers and zombies and stuff behind there but they scare you but they can't hurt you so if anyone wants to, to take home a scary googly they can do that and of course uh, of course this is where fluffy is so this is uh, the main reason i normally come here is to go and take fluffy with me for a, uh, a video right then which way should i go around next let's go around to this next street here and let's kind of try and do it road by road where we can uh, just to, to make sure we don't miss anything out and oh another grave another grave down here we have spring's grave uh, who sadly died when we were building this uh, we have kind of a, a sapling here in uh, his honor and i didn't actually show you but uh gregory's grave is down here as well and gregory was the the first dog i ever got in minecraft and we planted this tree after we buried him down here so if you're ever wondering what this is uh, that was gregory my first ever dog uh, that i had in my lovely world sadly he wasn't around for very long but i loved him very 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 much uh, right then, going down here, we have the uh, the police station called the Playful Popo Station. There's some of these buildings around here, which are actually some of my least favorite buildings. I was really happy with the idea when I built this thing, but looking back at it, I just don't think it was that funny. <laughs> and so, yeah, these are the, the, the play pens that people would end up being trapped in, and you can kind of visit them and talk to them like this here. Yeah, it's fine. It's all right. It's nicer than like a horrible, ugly one, I guess. It's got a lot of flowers on. Uh, the fire station down here, once again, it's fine. But I think it just looks too much like a realistic fire station. There's no kind of fun twist around it. And oh, and there's a hole in it as well, apparently. <laughs> I don't know when that ended up there. But yeah, basically, it's just a pretty standard looking fire station and stuff. But it does have a fire alarm, which uh, is a, a pretty cool thing about it. Over here, once again, one of the, the more boring videos. So I'm going through them quick. This is my uh, cat clinic uh, hospital. Basically, just a bunch of puns and then different <laughs> uh, things. I did actually uh, cure my um, uh, my zombie villagers to get Harriet and Harrison from here. So that's kind of where they're notable. And hello. Goodbye. Okay, and a, <laughs> a very gormless, not very observant skeleton is as well uh, hanging out uh, inside of there. That was really weird. Uh, over here, we have my uh, pretty kitty, uh, which is basically uh, my beauty salon. There's the beautifier in there as well. I don't want to get too close because I want Barnaby swimming up the, the outside. But I like this building. This building, I think, holds up and still looks pretty cool. It's just a bunch of glass uh, with water over the, the top of it. And over here, we have my dentist. I may have missed it in my last big tour called Everything, uh, but here it is, my loop, uh, loose tooth. Uh, 
roof dentist it's not easy to, to say uh, the fish is supposed to end up in the fish tank but now they fly out they used to end up sitting inside of here once again there was an update that made that not work magazines to read while you're waiting uh, this is the dentist chair in there and this is the uh, the tooth fairy's office she uh, works uh, inside uh, of there and then let's go and show let's make sure i don't miss this one out this is the uh, superior interior uh, this is basically a um furniture shop uh, basically a bunch of different furniture in here i think it looks okay this building like it's not an ugly building it's just like really really undramatic and just a little bit boring so yeah i don't really focus on that building too much <laughs> and then yeah let's go uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going, uh, going in a really weird order. Let's let's loop around and let's go and show these buildings now then, just to make sure we don't miss out on any of these. So, uh, I really love this uh, shop. This is one of my favourite ones. This is my flying fish shop. Basically, the way it would work, I won't do it now because it might take a while, but uh, I would stand on the... Uh, we'll give it a quick go. If it happens straight away, then it happens straight away. But basically, I would stand here like this. I'll do some fishing. If I was able to catch a fish, I would fling it back and it would fly over my shoulder. Anyone gonna go? Any fishies? Any fishies? Uh, nope, okay, no fish are coming. But basically, I'd fling it. It would fly over my head. It would fall down this hole without me ever touching it. And then it would go and make its way inside of the, the restaurant here uh, while everyone would be waiting. And then the, the fish... In this case, it's going to be a fishing rod because that's the, the thing I threw down. Would launch out of the hole, fly up, bang into the, the ceiling, land in the, the water, then go to this conveyor belt where it would keep kind of spinning around in a, a circle until someone grabbed it. So it's basically the freshest fish you could ever get because it's literally right from the ocean and then onto like your plate without anyone ever touching it. And they're only taking like, I don't know, depending on how long this uh, this slime block takes to, to launch up. So yeah, that's how it works. Basically, there's a piston under the, the ground with a slime block. Every now and then it just launches whatever's down there into the, the sky and then goes and makes its way around fingers crossed it's actually working i'm gonna give it five more seconds oh there we go it is working then that would make its way to the, the conveyor belt there we go ha! sorry that took a little bit of a, of a while but i wanted you to, to see it work and i also just like the, the look of it from the outside it's got these little gardens on the, the front and stuff pretty cool looking building if i may say so myself uh down here we have the um the clean machine area this is sadly something else that doesn't work basically you used to use this to, to clean your clothes where you'd go and throw in your clothes i'm gonna throw a boat in uh, and then they would all bounce up and down as the the water goes they don't bounce up and down anymore so it doesn't look as good as it used to but it still looks okay and then basically you'd open it up all of the the clothes would end up coming out and then you can go and, uh, and gather them up but sadly it doesn't work quite in the the same way that it used to uh, before oh uh, yeah still a pretty cool building uh next door to, to that we have the um the hot potato which um I don't know what's going on here, but basically it's supposed to be a case. It might be out of fire charges, actually, but the way it's supposed to work is that at night time, it's all lit up and all on fire. And in the daytime, uh, it just displays a whole bunch of potatoes. It's kind of quite good that it's a little bit broken because now this way we can see kind of the two different ways of how it could look. So there's never rack that gets lifted up and then set on fire. Pretty cool mechanism, if I may say so myself. Then on the inside, there's an empty chest. But if you go and press these buttons in the, the ceiling, uh, whoa, that was really loud. Uh, basically, it makes a whole bunch of um, uh, water, push a bunch of potatoes down uh, inside of the, the chest. It also cooks them for you as well. You can see that the, the furnace is on that's because the um uh, the potatoes get put inside of the furnace they get cooked and then out of the end here wait for it wait for it once again i'm gonna give it five seconds you better cook potatoes there we go we get ourselves baked potatoes completely automatically with us just sitting down in the, the restaurant so that's the the way the hot pot potato restaurant works uh then over on this side we have my fire workshop bit of a pun on the, the name basically the way this place works is you choose what type of fireworks you want what you want to have in them press the buttons then you press these buttons and then the different colors will come down as well they all make their way to the the little section down here where you can gather them and then you can craft them and then you can test them over here as well by putting them inside of the, the dispensers and then either launching them into the, the sky or into the um the, the cobweb where they kind of launch and like kind of open up slowly. Looks pretty cool. Uh, over here we have the, the the Fancy Pants Restaurant which is uh, one of the probably better looking buildings that I have in my lovely world. You can kind of see the style of it there. If I go over to, to this side over here you might be able to, to see it a little bit better. It's got a big dome on the, the top of there as well. And basically the idea of this restaurant is it's very, very fancy 
as you can see. In fact, it's so fancy, you need to wear fancy pants when you come inside of here, because it is the, the, the fancy pants restaurant. <laughs> and look at that, it matches my hat as well. And the, the, the carpet, and there's a big chandelier up there. And yeah, basically, it's a really fancy restaurant, but everything is just cooked on a microwave. So um, yeah, it's a really cool looking restaurant with really rubbish food. That's the, the, the idea of it. That's my hilarious joke. And it used to have a very nice view until I built that horrible restaurant next door to it. And uh, more on that in a little bit. Let's, let's go and head over in that direction now, actually. We'll come back to all of these things over here. So this next door here, this is my beetroot teak, and this is a beetroot restaurant that only sells beetroots, but it's actually all a bit of a rouge. So the idea is, is that no one with all of these restaurants is going to choose to go to the restaurant that only sells beetroot. So there's actually a hidden cookie restaurant underneath the ground. And the reason it's hidden is because Fizzy doesn't want anyone to go there because otherwise they might eat his cookies and he wants them all to himself. So originally when we built it, there was a really cool mechanism where if you take the, the water out of the cauldron or the, uh, the beetroot soup, trough or whatever it's supposed to be at the moment then this whole thing would open up and then you'd be able to go under the the ground but sadly as you can see it opens up but it doesn't open up for the the cauldron because cauldrons can't move anymore since uh, a recent update so sadly it just doesn't work anymore so i'm gonna have to, to try and think of a different way of doing this because uh, it used to be a really cool mechanism but now it doesn't work but basically uh, you'd come down here and then if you throw down any item i think it's here there we go cookies just go and fly all the way from the the heavens and you can get yourselves a whole load of cookies so that's the the famous cookie crumble moment when all of the the cookies fall down and let's go and grab some of these cookies shall we and go <laughs> and make our way back to the top so sadly the the cool secret entrance doesn't work uh, anymore uh, but i i will be able to to find some way to to fix that and make it work again and barnaby that, that that's the behind the scenes redstone you don't want to go behind there Right then, uh, let's go and do uh, this restaurant down here. This is my fast food restaurant, but not in the way you might expect. Well, it is, kind of. So it's it's literally fast food. So th what I mean by fast food is the food travels fast. So if I go and press the button, the food will launch up, it will get caught, and then it'll be launched all the way around the room until it makes its way into the, the middle. So let's go, and, uh, let's go and send a little bit of food going through so then we can imagine like it was an entire meal. It looks like it's kind of just filled up with fish at the, the moment by the, the looks of things. But yeah. It would go all the way around the, the room being launched around like this and then eventually it would get launched and it would land right on my table in the, the very middle of the room. So basically you'll go and stand there, you'll order what you want and then you'll go and stand in the middle of the room and then once it's made its long journey all the way around the room you'll be able to, to go and pick it up. So it's all pretty pointless, there's no reason for it to go on this long journey all the way, uh, the way around the room but I still think it's a pretty cool thing and uh, once again it was part of a very dramatic episode when we were building this. We were interrupted while we were building it. Let's uh, just say that without any, any uh, other spoilers. <laughs> Over here we have the... Um the stupendous stew restaurant uh, this is the uh, the first uh, kind of thing that i did with all of these fancy kind of stylized colorful terracotta blocks i am personally not a big fan of these blocks really i don't think they kind of fit in with the rest of the the minecraft style some people like them some people don't i'm personally not a fan but as soon as they were added to the game i thought i'd see if i could find some cool use for them and i think they they work pretty well i like the the, the roof especially of this place here and basically they have stupendous stew and super soup i cannot resist doing my puns and i have two puns back to back down there so that is the the best thing about this restaurant and if we do go out to the, the back here i think it does look pretty cool i think it does definitely stand out compared to a bunch of the the other things uh, that i have inside of my lovely world Right then, let's kind of loop back a little bit to, to where we was, and let's go to my coffee corner, coffee cafe shop, whatever this thing is uh, <laughs> is uh, supposed to, to be. It's definitely the, the coffee corner, so the way this thing works, well, it doesn't actually work anymore. This is another thing that's broken. I'm not sure, entirely sure what it is, but basically, originally, you'd throw coffee beans inside of here, and it would go on this whole long journey, and eventually, it would go along here, and it would deliver the coffee to you. It doesn't work anymore. I mean, I could I could set it off, and I'll show you how it doesn't work, but, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, it just does it itself, doesn't it? You just throw the items in and then I think it just, yeah, it's supposed to just do everything else itself. So the coffee beans would make their way to there and then they get pushed. Across. Actually, is it going to work? No, yeah, it messes up here for some reason. So I don't know. Oh, no, it's working. It's working. Okay. Maybe I should have done it with actual coffee beans. So imagine that's a coffee bean. Then it would go in the floor and then uh, I can't even remember what this does. There's something down here. There's a dropper that does something and then... Basically, it would eventually, oh, there we go, it would end up making its way down here and it would deliver the, the coffee to you. There we go. I was able to, to grab some coffee. So it looks like it does pretty much work then for, for now. And then eventually, uh, this minecart should automatically uh, go and get put back to the beginning to be automatically reset. So there we go. There we go. It worked. It all works. Okay. I am lying. I remember last time I tried it, it didn't work for some reason. So maybe I did something wrong. Um, 
And yeah, pretty cool coffee cup, uh, coffee shop down here. These are all of the, the coffee cups that are around the place. And then there is a garden over here uh, as well uh, with a, a rather funky looking tree and uh, a place to, to sit outside uh, and enjoy the view of the, the very recently built park. We will be getting to the, the park a little bit later on. If you have been uh, watching my videos uh, recently still, uh, in that case, thank you, uh, then you will know all about the park because we only just finished building it. Anyway, let's go and show you, uh, let's show you here. Uh, I have my, my fast food restaurant there. This one is kind of similar. Uh, I call it snack on track, but it's kind of more of a diner than a fast food restaurant. And the way it works is people would sit on whatever table they want to. Let's get Barnaby. You can sit down on, let's say you're on the, the purple table. And basically, this minecart is supposed to be like someone on roller skate. So you can program in where you want the minecart to go to. So if I do it like that, and then I think switch it like this, I believe should be right. Now, if I go in here, it's going to deliver me straight to, to Barnaby, and I can go and uh, throw him his uh, his dinner. In this case, it's going to be a pork chop, and then it would go and launch me all the way back. So I was pretty proud of this. This was, once again, a rather old build, so I wasn't very good at redstone when I built it, but I was very happy uh, with how this thing works. And it's still works. I have never needed to update or change it. Uh, change it. It's continued to work all of this time. And oh, this might be good timing actually because it's just about to, to get dark and the, the world always looks nicer uh, when it gets dark just kind of looking over the town from somewhere high. So let's go up to the, the top of here. This is my sky high restaurant. And oh no, 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 no. Before I go up, I'm sorry. I know I've gone half the way up and now I need to go back down. Let me see if this still works. I think this does still work. Last time I tried it, it did, but there's a chance they might have, uh, have broken it in the most recent update. But basically, what you'd do is say someone ordered a bit of bread, very imaginative. I would go and press the button and it should make its way... Fingers crossed. There we go. It's still working. It's still working. So there we go. There's the bread going up and let's send a, a pork chop up for Barnaby as well. So these are basically going to make their way all the way up to the Sky High restaurant. So the idea is, is that uh, everything is of course cooked in the, the kitchen underneath there. Everyone orders what food they want, and then they, I, I guess, cool down to the, the kitchen, and then they cook the food, and then they send it going up this uh, this tube so people can eat it. I can kind of race it. I can kind of race the pork chop. Can you see it going there? <laughs> it basically goes the same speed as me. I think I might be going ever so slightly faster than it. I think I might be gaining on it a little bit, but yeah, basically you would go and sit down, you'd be admiring the, the view, and then kind of like the, the fast food restaurant, I guess, the, the, the food would magically uh, appear in the, the middle of the restaurant. Then you can grab it, and then you can eat it, and then you can admire the the view while you're there eating all of your grub. So let's go up to the, the top here and there we go! There is the, the bread for me and the, the pork chop for Barnaby. Let me actually feed Barnaby the pork chop this time. There you go. So yeah, Let's admire the, the views. We can see down to the, the park. There's a little bit, a, a bit of a glimpse over to the fun land. More on that in the, the next episode. But here is the, the rest of the, the town and everything else we're going to be exploring to today. Oh, what perfect timing. The sun is setting over there behind my house. You can't see my house, but my house would be there. You can see the enormous clock tower. Uh, we will be going uh, up there and seeing the, the views from the, the top up there in just a moment. So let's go and head over in that direction now. So going down, you'll be glad to, to hear, is much quicker uh, than going up to the, the top. It's Barnaby okay? Barnaby is fine. Jolly good, jolly good, jolly good. Right then, this is the, um the recycle no so he's called recycle michael this is the waste place this place is called and basically this is a, a robot that recycles everything so say if i had something i wanted to get rid of say i wanted to recycle this glass bottle i would go like this i would place it inside of here using kind of the same thing as the um the sky high restaurant it would all Ah, did this not work anymore? This might have... Okay, so it looks like that one works, but this one doesn't anymore. Okay, so what would happen is it would be, like, launched up to the, the top. Let me try putting a block in here. That might be the thing that's making it not work. Is that going to make it work? No, but it's still not working, and I've just broke this. <laughs> okay, so what would normally happen is this bottle would go up through the, the glass into the water, then into Recycle Michael. I could set whether I want it to incinerate or recycle, and then I'll turn it on, and then it would basically... um fire out from its hands uh, and basically recycle everything that goes inside of the chest so we can use it again and then incinerate uh, anything that goes down here basically straight into some lava so yeah that's the way it works one of my favorite builds i've done in my in my lovely world still one of my favorite things to, to kind of go and, uh, and look at at the, the moment so uh, yeah this is recycle michael hopefully you liked it uh, let's go across the, the street again now and let's go into my shoe for you this is my shoe shop basically a bunch of shoes here less shoes than they used to be once again i've been cutting down on my item frames uh, Here's the, the counter down here with more shoes out back because they always need to go and get the, the shoes from out back to get them in your size. And then there's a, a catwalk to test them on. 
And there is a diving board so you can see how good your shoes are at jumping into puddles. And then the best thing, if this is working, is my treadmill where basically uh, it's sliding a, uh, a bunch of blocks along down here basically to make it look like the treadmill's moving. And aha! It looks like it is still working. It hasn't been broken yet. So I might actually change these so they're not sand and gravel now that I can use the, uh, the concrete powder. But if I go underneath the, the ground here, I can basically show you how it works. So blocks drop down there, they're slid across, and then they're moved up two blocks till they're at the, the top there and then pushed across. So it's not really crazy complicated. You just need to get the timing absolutely perfectly for it to, to work. So that's where the, the real challenge was when I was building this thing. Once again, I was very happy with it uh, once I was able to, to get it finished. Uh, but yeah, let's go and keep on making our way down this street here. This is my uh, radio tower. It's called my Cat Chat radio station. You can see the antenna at the, the top there very quickly have a look in here basically pretty simple recording studio set up down here i have a light that i can switch on here which says whether i'm on air or not a little cool touch there oh there was a there was a sign on it that said on air but i had to break that away because once again too many signs <laughs> and here we have the the, the bar bar barbers uh, this is my barber shop as you can see i tried to make it look like there's a mirror uh, this is where i go and shear all of my sheep because it's a uh, a barber shop for for sheep uh, across here we have the this is the the vet it's called the 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 poorly pets pet vet uh, it's basically like the um the, the cat clinic uh, but this one is for all of my animals uh, instead uh, so that's uh, inside of there a whole load of puns in this place i don't want to go through all of them now though this is the need to read bookshop i'm going to very briefly show you inside of here but i don't want barnaby to run into the the fire but basically it's almost like a hobbit hole it's kind of in the the ground like that quite a, a cool style uh, i've already shown you all of these things so let's keep moving down this street here this is my wagging tail uh, kind of retreat for dogs like my doggy daycare center place they have a lovely beach they can hang out on and a few rooms to chill out in a whole bunch of pork chops inside of there not today no barnaby not today we are continuing the the tour first <laughs> you can go and relax there once we've gone and shown everything else uh, down here we have the pharmacy so normally you'd spell it like with a ph but i spelled it with an f because it's like in the shape of a barn so it's like a pharmacy yeah there's a lot of puns in my lovely world i apologize for that so yeah basically it's a big barn but it's a pharmacy uh here we have the the hotel of dreams i won't show you all the way to the the top i've been up here quite a, a lot but basically uh, there's a bunch of different rooms inside of here and then i like the fact that it's completely open in the middle it does mean that if it rained it would be raining down into the the lobby but <laughs> i still think it's pretty cool and the the big change that i've made or the small change i've made is that all of the the beds are the same color of the the room which is quite a, a cool addition which uh, makes the rooms look better now uh then oh we haven't shown this yet this is my sweetie pie this is my candy shop uh, with a whole bunch of different sweets sadly once again i had to to break away the the uh, the signs which had the the names of all of the different types of sweets uh just because basically there were way 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 too many signs in my world so i had to end up breaking them away and i'm sorry barnaby you can come out uh over here we have my opticians my I C opticians, as in I C, as in I can see you, and also I C because it's it's ice. Yeah, I was really in a very punny mood when I built this street. Like everything's got a crazy pun. <laughs> and anyway, these are the different types of glasses. They're all inside of here. There's some lovely grey dye glasses, and then these ones are quite cool. The eye of ender glasses, and then all of the the standard things you'd expect to see in an optician. The the color board, and this is the thing where they say like, look inside here and tell me what you see. Can you see the color red and stuff like that? So <laughs> pretty cool machine. Uh, pretty enormous, but they are they are like always oversized when you go to the opticians, aren't they? And then this is the the cool school. Basically, this is a uh, a school for all of my different dogs. There's a play area out the the back here, and all of the the different rooms for for teaching the dogs different things, including the doggy paddle. Once again, can't resist a good pun. <laughs> and then this is the the piggy bank. I won't show you all of it now because it's pretty humongous, but basically it all goes like under the ground and there's a bunch of obstacles you need to complete uh, until you eventually make your way to my vault. So basically no one makes their way to my vault. Uh, down here we have the, the Zen Zone. This is basically like a, um, like a dojo. Uh, so the way you need to try to complete this challenge is you need to go over this parkour blindfolded. And then there's also, uh, you can put armor stands down here. So they have different armor fired onto them. Then you need to like take them off really quickly just to, to test your reactions to make sure you are a karate master uh, and then i don't think i've missed anything else on that side of the town so let's go to the the clock tower so underneath the the clock tower we have the tick tock shop basically this is my clock shop including my cuckoo clock which is my famous thing in here <laughs> that's amazing and then if we go up to the the top here there's two things so basically there's the view 
which is the the main reason you'd go up to the the top up here then there's also my uh my tea shop uh, as well there's my tea time tea shop is what i called it there was an accident that well i don't know how much of an accident it was i think it was an accident but basically i did get a lot of my clock tower blown up I have since then fixed it, so it's back kind of the, the way it used to be before there was a giant hole blown in the, the side of it. If you want to see that episode, it was my last Christmas episode. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's called like Uninvited Guests or something. You can probably imagine who was the un uninvited guest. But yeah, this whole wall here got blown up and the floor as well. But we have fixed it, so we have the, the, the lovely uh, tea time tea shop back to the, the way it was. But for now, actually, Barnaby, you can sit down. No, you can join me. You Just be safe, okay, Barnaby? Just stick near, near me, okay? But this is good because we can go all the way up to the, the top of the, the clock now and it's still going to, to be night time. And as I keep saying, uh, this is the, the most dramatic time to, to go and view uh, over my lovely world because this is the tallest thing in my entire town. Not the tallest thing in my lovely world. There is one mini game which does hold that record, but uh, this is going to be the, the tallest thing uh, we're going to see all of today. I'm a little bit worried up here because, okay, Barnaby, be, yeah, okay, sit down, sit down, Barnaby, sit down. Okay, good, good. Okay, we're safe. Well, Barnaby's safe. <laughs> we're not safe but Barnaby's safe at least. So yeah, here's the, the best view over my town. You can see a bunch of the shops I haven't shown you yet. These are all of the things that I have shown you. I'm just checking quickly just to make sure I haven't missed anything. I think we've shown everything on that side of the, the town at least. There's the lighthouse down here. And seeing as it's uh, quite close to my house, we can also go down this way. Uh, you can see my house down there, the SS Stumpy, uh, lovely incorporated, and then my theatre and stuff uh, is just beginning to, to load in uh, now as well. So yeah, definitely one of the, the, the more dramatic views you can get over my lovely world. How are we going to get down? Do you think I could land in that water? Is that, I think, I, oh, oh, I can, I can land on there, couldn't I? Look, there's my, um, my jungle gym down there. I could probably land on the, the roof of there and be okay. I just need to do it really quickly. So Barnaby's just going to teleport after me. So I need to go, 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 go and jump. Please land in the water and, okay, it hurt me a little bit. But I'm safe. The big question is, where is Barnaby? Let's just go get down to ground level and let's just make sure he's behind me. Barnaby, there we go. He's okay. That was a little bit scary. I was more scared for Barnaby than I was for, for me. I would respawn if I died. Barnaby wouldn't. But yeah. Let's show you the jungle gym then, shall we? Seen as you've already seen the, the top of it. So this is supposed to be like, it's called a jungle gym, but it's supposed to be like a normal gym. But everything's kind of jungle themed and uses like water to lift weights. And then these are the treadmills. You basically have to kind of like swim in this direction and get pushed back. I like this building. This is a pretty cool building. And that's like the, the rowing machine where you literally have to, to row a real boat against the, the current. Uh, over here, we have my bed shop. It's called my ZZ, uh, three Zs bed shop. That's what it's called because there's three Zs. They're a little bit harder to, to see at night but there's big uh three z's up there and lots of very colorful beds for you to, to go and bounce across and then we have over here uh this is my meet and greet butchers uh these were all built relatively recently uh pretty standard butcher shop but uh, everything's pretty like automated everything kind of works by itself so basically you would throw like the meat in here and then, oh, oh no, no, I need to throw it a little bit low because I need to set off the um, the pressure plate as well. And then it would go and get kind of like mashed up, like pounded, whatever the, the right term is. And then salt uh, would go and drop down from the, the top up there. And then we get to the, the end, the salt gets collected, uh, but then the, the pork chops get kind of pushed off the, the end. Uh, so you can go and just gather them up. So here we have a nicely uh, salted pork chop for you there. Barnaby is very happy about that. And I will have some bread just uh, to keep my hunger up. So yeah, this is my meat and greet butchers. I will be honest, I was very proud of the, the name when I came up with that. I probably shouldn't have been, but I was. <laughs> so yeah, I think we've got to the, the last street to, to show now. This is my sounds good music store uh the shape of the the building on the outside uh, is inspired by a piano you can kind of see the way it's opened up like a piano the uh the, the style there is much more obviously a piano there is a creeper here as well and i would like to to do with that you can see why i've been doing most of the tour in the day rather than at, uh, at night time and it does look pretty at night so i'll i won't go and uh, worry about sleeping now but yeah this is my doggy disco i haven't put a, a sign up for for this yet but basically you can see the arrow saying come in come into the disco <laughs> and then if you go inside you can see whoa there are a whole load of googlies having the the disco let's go and turn on the the dance floor and then that's going to light the the area up a bit and hopefully the the googlies won't uh, uh keep spawning in here oh no there's a, oh, there's a creeper oh no not good not good not good hit the creeper shoot the creeper with an arrow shoot the creeper with an arrow shoot the creeper with an arrow <laughs> there we go Okay, I think we're safe. I think we're... Okay, no, they're still spawning in here. Right, let's just get out of here. So normally, this dance floor would all light up and flash. For some reason, the redstone isn't working now. Maybe it broke in the update or something. But normally, it would kind of all flow out from the, the middle. Just search Doggy Disco Stampy on YouTube and you'll be able to see the, 
video where I built that and see it all properly. And Barnaby is safe. I got a little bit worried then. Right then, let's keep moving on away from the, the more dangerous buildings. This is my shiny shop. This is a jewellery shop. The outside has like a giant... Whoa, that was the inside of my head you saw then. Yeah, it's basically a giant diamond ring kind of going through the, the shop and a whole bunch of different shiny things for display inside of this shop here. I like this shop as well. This is my LOL, which stands for Laugh on Logs. This is a comedy club which is called LOL, but it doesn't mean laugh out loud. It means laugh on logs. So that's the, the joke, and it's kind of like a wood cabin. Luckily, no googlies inside of it. Oh, apart from one little tiny slime. Much uh, much nicer than the, the, the doggy disco. And then there's a fire... Oh, there's a chicken in here as well, apparently. So yeah, basically, the, the comics would stand backstage, then they would come onto the, the stage and say their comedy routines. I did do a stand-up comedy routine. It was awful. Don't watch it. <laughs> it was really cringy, but it was kind of a bit cheesy, and that was the, the point. Not very funny at all, especially when no one's laughing as well. It's really weird to, like, do comedy with no one laughing. But, yep, uh, that's kind of the, the way this place works. I was very happy with uh, with this stuff. Now, a lot of this stuff's a lot newer. A lot of this stuff is a lot more recent, especially, like, that little area down there. Uh, going down this way... This is William Beaver's shop we have down here. It's called Tool Order. And uh, this is quite a cool mechanism here. So basically, uh, there's a bunch of like different stuff inside of here. So for example, there's swords inside of here. So there's a diamond sword there. Say I can't afford a diamond sword and I want a different sword. I can press the button and then they will all switch round. And then I can go and open it. And now there's gold swords. And I could press the, the button again. And then they'll all go and switch around again. And now there is stone swords. And so this works uh, the same for all of these. We have armor down here and then a bunch of tools as well so that's just a pretty cool storage mechanism and then the, the whole shop looks quite cool with the, the floor down here and on the the outside it looks a little bit like that with a, a bit of a, a funky roof over here we have one of my favorite interiors not the most dramatic looking exterior a little bit boring if i'm honest but my smart art shop has a really cool interior because look at that there is a reflection on the floor and you might be thinking whoa how did you do a reflection inside of minecraft very simple i didn't basically i had to build the entire room this room again upside down and then just put ice down so it looks like there's a reflection but as you can see barnaby doesn't have a reflection i don't have a reflection it's all just a, a trick uh, but i think it works really well it looks really cool so if you're looking for an idea for anything you're building maybe try doing a reflective floor because it looks absolutely awesome it's just a little bit awkward to build especially if you're doing it with a big room and hello creeper i can see you look he was standing up there waiting to pounce and land on my head but i spotted him <laughs> anyway, this is a uh, poly shop here we have all three of my uh, helpers shops in a row here this one's got uh, quite a cool trick as well. It's called Polytechnic, and as you enter, basically it says hello to you as a secret hello message comes out from the, the wall, and then we'll go away again once you're actually inside of the, the shop. As Barnaby comes in, it will probably go off it again if he does come in. Uh, but yeah, this is basically just a, a redstone shop selling all sorts of different types uh, of redstone. Uh, if we go over to this shop next here, this is my good fortune shop and it's basically a fortune teller place so the way it would work is you grab this painting here and then you place it in the wall and whatever design you get will tell you what your future is so let's give this a go i'm going to do it for me first and i got this one which means you smell really out of all of these ones i could have got i got the one that says you smell that is ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to do it for Barnaby. Barnaby! We both smell. It could have literally been any of the... Hello, Barnaby. Cheeky little face going through the wall. It could have been any of these. Any of these really good fortunes. Like, you will have great luck or your dreams will come true. No, we both just smell. Maybe it's because we've been walking around for an hour together. Now we're getting all sweaty and smelly. <laughs> anyway... Over here, we have the, the, the fizzy fun shop. Uh, inside of here, we have an enormous elephant. I love this elephant. We have a bunch of pumpkin party people, uh, banners for sale. Basically, it's all like a shop selling party supplies. There was armor stands here with costumes, but sadly, I had to get rid of them because there's a hard limit to the amount of costumes you can have in your world, and I obviously needed them for, for something else. So, uh, yep, sadly, there's none of them anymore. But there is up here a really cool DJ booth. So, uh, Fizzy can go up here and kind of do his DJ's uh, kind of sets for all of his, uh, his different friends as they come around for the, the the parties uh next door over let's do this side first we have the um the film studio so basically all of my helpers have their trailers down here and inside of here we have the the film set uh, for where we filmed my film called Renner. if you haven't seen that you want to see the the film that we filmed inside of here it's quite cool because we filmed basically an entire mini movie inside of this little building with all of these really tiny sets so it was really difficult to, to film them but really good fun to, to do that so i didn't want to, to get rid of the the set so i've kind of left it here the the way that it uh, it was when we finished filming i won't show you inside of all of the the trailers they all pretty much look the, the same with a few different things inside 
This is my uh, telly box, this place uh, is called. And uh, kind of similar to, to that, we did a uh, a TV show inside of here. So you can basically go and turn on all of the, the lights to, to light it up when we're filming. We had a green screen, which we had a lot of fun with, especially with uh, with Fizzy. There's a game show here. Uh, this was for the news. This is where the news bro uh, broadcaster was. And these are all of my different cameras that we have around the, the outside here as well. That was a really fun episode to, to do as well. Lots of good memories around this area. Over here. This is my clay oven restaurant. This is basically a pizza delivery restaurant where there's a big clay oven. The kind of design on the front there is, is supposed to look like an actual like fire inside of a clay oven. So like the entire restaurant is supposed to be the shape of a clay oven. And it's probably got one of the, the coolest tricks that uh, I've used inside of, uh, of Minecraft. In fact, it was voted number one in my top 10 cool tricks, even though it was voted, you know, no, not really voted. I just decided, but I decided it was my coolest trick. So basically we throw the pizza in there, we press the button and and ta-da! It goes and lights up and you can see it cooking and burning and stuff and all. It doesn't normally glow like that and make that crazy noise. It's kind of it's kind of even cooler now. It's almost a little bit scary. But yeah, I could go and turn that on for a bit, press the button, and then go and grab the, the cooked pizza if I could reach it. But I think I threw it in a little bit too far. But yeah, that works really cool. Uh, search Clay Oven Stampy on YouTube if you want to see how I made that. I'm not going to do a, a full tutorial now. Um, up here... This is Harry's original house that we have up here. Uh, there's some pumpkin men inside of it and some cake. Nom nom, don't mind if I do. Uh, but yeah, this is where Harry used to live before we moved his house over there and basically uh, built it in the, the exact same way. And now I think this might be the, the last building I have to, to show you. Uh, this is my movie magic uh, place. And this is my cinema. Actually, let me show you from up here. So this is the, the projector room. And this is where you can turn the, the films on. And you can also drop the curtain. So I've changed it to a red curtain. It used to be like sand and gravel. But I think the, the red curtain looks way better. So that's all going to drop down. I could switch that on to, to go and turn the, the projector on. So if I'm really fast, we should be able to make it inside before all of the curtains drop down. And there we go. You can still see the, the last few bits of it dropping down away like that to reveal our cinema screen. So uh, I've done a, a few different films I've done inside of here. So I showed the, the, the Renner film. Then there's also a Halloween special called uh, Scare scary movies uh, where I showed uh, three different scary films uh, inside of here. Uh, that was uh, another fun episode if you want to go and check that one out. But yeah, this is basically how this place works and what it looks like from the, the inside. Is that it in terms of the buildings? I think that might be it. So the only last thing that I want to show you, and I'm glad I'm doing this in the, the daytime because even though there are a bunch of lamps around here, it's not it's not the best lit up place in my lovely world. I don't know. The ribbon's back here. <laughs> Let's go and break this away again. We had a big fair in the last episode I recorded, if you're watching this when it came up, where we did the uh, the fancy fair. And, uh, I look, and I guess the ribbon <laughs> was put back there. Basically, I didn't save at the end of the, the last episode, so <laughs> I just destroyed the, the fair and left the ribbon. So I now say the Fancy Circle Park is open once again. And yeah, basically it's just a pretty cool hangout area to, to come here and chill out. And also if ever I need a, a big open space, uh, we can always kind of come here and use this area uh, as just a, a big area to kind of, you know, do whatever we want to, to do. I think, though, that that is everything that I needed to show you. Oh, I've just realized I forgot something. So I realized I forgot my my old house um, that I first lived in because I had that right next to my runway where the airport was. Let, let me go and show you that quickly. Let me just go and cut ahead in the video until we're over there just because I really don't want to miss anything out and I just realized that I missed that out now. And on my way back, I'm also just going to have a look around uh, just to, to make sure I didn't miss out anything obvious either. Okay, I did miss out other things. I thought I would do. I always miss things out. There's a lot of things to, to show. So I didn't show this place. This is my um, nice, I think it's called like nice ice cream or something along those lines. Uh, but basically, uh, it's a, an ice cream shop inside of a giant icicle where you'd throw the ice cream like, uh, let's just throw a cookie and it would make its way down there. And then it would like slide along and then come back to you and you'd gather it. Uh, so yeah, I forgot to show you this thing. Uh, it's pretty unique because it's entirely made out of ice and water. And I guess ice and water is basically the, the same thing. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, there's that restaurant there that I think I didn't show you. I also, I don't think I showed you inside. I might have. I don't think I showed you inside of the, the hat trick shop. So uh, let me go and show you inside of there. Basically, uh, it's a magic shop full of all sorts of different magic things. And I think I kind of just like skipped around it by just the, the route that I went. So just in case I forgot to, to show you that, let me just go and show you a quick glimpse inside of here. So it's basically uh, a big hat uh, with some bunny ears coming out of the, the top. And then this is the, the inside of it. I may have shown you it before, 
bit. If not, there you go. Enjoy a second look. <laughs> and then, yeah, let me just go now and run over to, to where my old house is and kind of take this as another opportunity. So uh, there's the, the melon tree, the... Yeah, I think... I've shown you everything else. I don't think I've missed anything else. If I have, then I apologize, but there's a good chance I might have done it in the, the last time I did the tour. I wanted this to be as far as it could be, but you know what? Like straight after these episodes, I'm gonna be building even more things. So there's no way it's gonna be like completely up to date unless I do like an enormous tour when I one day eventually end my lovely world. But don't worry, that is not going to be happening anytime soon. Do not start panicking. But yeah, this is the, the one other little extra thing that I wanted to, to show you. And this is basically the original house that I built inside of my lovely world. So as I said, I spent one night in that little kind of tunnel over there and then I built this house here where I stayed for a little bit Stampy's house welcome I still got all of my old rubbish materials left inside of these chests here which I've never changed and then eventually I moved out from this area and built my big house uh, all the way over there so I think and this is going to be a very fitting area to end this episode here. Basically ending uh, this episode where it all started inside of my lovely world. So this is going to be part one of the tour of my lovely world. This was everything inside of my town. In the next episode, I'm going to be touring everything inside of my funland. And as you saw by the map, the funland is much bigger than my town. So the next episode is probably going to be even longer uh, than this one. But if you want to see everything, maybe you haven't been watching my videos for a while and you've just kind of come back to see what I'm getting up to for my 600th episode. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a good time to, to catch up and kind of see uh, anything that you may have missed out on. But apart from that, that is going to be the end of this episode here. As always, there'll be a link down in the description to the next episode when it's online if you want to go and finish off the other half of the tour. But for now, and I thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!